If you're watching this, it's because we're all being arrested. If you're watching this, then we're all risking our deferred action. My name is Claudia Rueda. I'm 17 years old. I go to Roosevelt High School. And if you're watching this, I've been arrested. Uh, I was born in Sonora, Mexico. I came here when I was five years old because it was hard to live in Mexico. My name is Marco Perez from Los Angeles, California. I'm a high school student in Roosevelt. I mean, I'm a high school student. I go to Roosevelt High School. I'm a senior. Um, the reason I came to this country most likely was because uh, my parents couldn't afford any any food. They couldn't. They could barely get anything to eat. They could get barely get any any clothes. They were, it was really bad. My name is Luis. I'm undocumented and queer. I came here when I was 15 years old. I came here because I couldn't pay anymore my school in Mexico. So my mom and my uh, brother are here, me and my sister. Then since then I start working. And my understanding, like to be a secure community, you have to get your people secure and be cool and free and not scared of the police, which is happening right now. Like people getting scared of police and it's not secure anymore. All my family, well, my mom, my sister, my brother doesn't have documents either. So they can be arrested and for easy things like no license, walking in the street or something like that, and they can be deported. And I came to this country in order to be with my family and we together and had a better future. And this is not happening because of secure communities and all the things that are happening. Um, many undocumented families don't even want to call the police because of secure communities. They're, they're afraid that they might get deported. I don't want to lose my, my dad. I don't want to lose my brother. It's not something I want. She just driving home because you just came back from work. So you could support us. Just because you were doing something good, I don't want that to happen to you. That's why I'm doing this. I don't want to lose you. I don't want anyone to go through um, having no father or no mother because Lee Baca has reported 25,000 people versus Arpaio who has reported 17,000. Like, there's a big difference between that number and I was really shocked, like, wow, there's something really going on with in California. Lee Baca, the freaking sheriff, comes in with secure communities enforcing that shit. It pisses me off. Because when people ask, what are you, how are we going to fight against this? I usually give them no answer because before I didn't even know. So I want to show them. I want to show them that this is a way to fight. Civil disobedience is a way to fight. To challenge that system of injustice and everything that Sheriff Lee Baca has been enforcing to us in our community, to our families, that fear that's been instilled in us since the very beginning, since we came over here. I want to stop that. I want to show them. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get rid of that fear in myself, my family, and my community. People should get involved because this is affecting us. It's not only one person, it's affecting the whole community. And as a family, as a community, we should work all together.